Glad to have you join us again on the program. At this time, we are beaming a searchlight on the 2018 budget of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My guests are still here, Okina Nebedum, a legal practitioner, and Dayo Kayade, a political technocrat. Thanks again, gentlemen, for being here. My pleasure. Thank you for having us. Okay, today is uh, May the 8th. Uh, the National Assembly said before the end of this week, the 2018 appropriation bill will be passed into law, and uh, of course, the process would continue from there. So far, how do you see this process? I very much felt so happy when the new featured in that uh, the president was meeting with the two heads of the legislative chambers, and uh, the outcome of that meeting. Um, uh, said on spoke about the budget though. Yeah, well, well let's take a listen okay. to really uh, the conversation they had after meeting with President Muhammad Buhari because they spoke to State House correspondent after okay. that meeting. So let's uh, uh, hear it now. Well, we hope that uh, hopefully it should be late this week. Uh, if it can be late this week, pass this week or late this week and pass early next week. But we are hoping it should be late this week. As a fallback to the events that took place after the president made the presentation, uh, they, they they shouldn't have expected the Senate or the uh, House of Representatives to be a rubber stamp on the budget. Typical of them to look into the you know nitty gritties for the budget. They meet and it's routine for them to invite ministerial heads, agency heads to come and defend the budget. And one of the uh, outspoken um, senators, uh, Abaribe. Uh, did just oppose to us that there was nothing actually different. It looked as if uh, there are photocopies of the past budget of 2017 and 2018. And you know, he buttressed the point so elaborate that uh, one would begin to ask, why are they this? Why are these people shading themselves away from coming to defend the budget? When you say, for example, the uh, state house uh, culinaries we have bought last year, and then they are bought a, a, you budget again for it. Does it mean that the culinary that you bought we are stolen? Or what happened to them? And you budgeted for cars, don't you? Yeah, you budget for another set of cars, and you budgeted for computers, you, and you still budget budgeted for another set of computers. So those are the some of the issues that the Senate raised, at least the one I'm aware of. But there's no seeming response coming from the heads of those presidents to come and defend the budget. I think I, I should lay the blame on the on the on the on the doorsteps of the executive that actually prepared the budget. And I also know very well that there's the budget office which should lie with both the executive and the legislature to streamline those issues. And there's also a presidential liaison officer to the National Assembly whose duty is to be like a lobbyist who should lobby between the presidency and who should lobby between the executive arm of government and the legislative arm of government to get all those things on? See, we shouldn't be watching our dirty minutes in the public. If it takes this long to get the budget passed, then how much longer will it now take for the implementation? I think it's a real problem that, that says that if it takes you how many years to prepare for madness, how many years now will it take you to run mad? You all right. Sense of it. Let's come to uh, there. This budget of 8.6.2 trillion naira is about 15 percent more than last year's of 7.44 trillion naira. Yeah, you see, first of all, looking at the time between when the budget was submitted to when the budget is about to be passed, now the time lag is just too much. We should we should start learning from our mistakes. If you look at the scenarios that have been playing out between the legislature and the executive, between that last year, November or thereabouts, yeah, November seventh, to, to 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 this time, you're going to see that we've been having series of bickerings among the among the two arms of government, and to a very large extent, that has affected the non-passage of our budget. And that has seemingly also affected our level of economic growth within those two periods. Because without without that without passing the budget, it's going to have effect on spendings of the government. 
that means so many things that are supposed to have been done i mean will not be attempted okay ideally we're supposed to be running a january to december fiscal year yeah but then look at where we but are that that doesn't seem to be what we're practicing because it's there's like, always a mechanism yeah. look at where we are yeah. look at where we yeah. are today yeah. now look at where we are today now like la last budget when, when when they were talking about the performance the performance level of last budget they say it was i think uh, 40 percent or there about so about 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 40 percent or there about where does that lead us where does that lead you and i to because these are the things that affect us is it bad news to be hearing that the naira is still is still falling uh, the, one of the papers was saying this morning that fell in the, do, do you understand yeah. all all these all these things we should we should learn from it our leaders should stop playing playing politics with our lives i see it more not as though they wouldn't want the budget passed but there are interests that have not been met. Exactly. Mm -hmm.